In Bangalore, it's been a mixed response to the strike so far. We are seeing a lot of government buses flying and uh, right now we have been told that nearly 50% of the bus force is flying in Bangalore. Auto rickshaws are also uh, flying. Usually on a strike day in Bangalore, this Shivaji Nagar bus stand uh, would be empty but we are seeing a lot of buses flying. So, uh, public transport not affected in Bangalore but shops, we have been told, will they will decide later whether to open or not. But at the moment, what we know is that banks, schools and colleges will be shut. Uh, we have been told that several IT companies are working, Infosys and Wipro are working, they have deployed special buses to pick up uh, their employees. So IT uh, companies in Bangalore not affected by the strike, they are continuing uh, their work. So uh, in short, uh, it's a normal day for most Bangaloreans, but if you're a college student uh, or a school student, just enjoy the day off. The strike so far has had hardly any effect in Guwahati. Schools are open, colleges are open, in fact vehicles are flying. But at the same time, it is very crucial because it is a rare occasion, not just in the northeastern states, but also in Assam, when workers belonging to different trade unions under different political affiliations, they have come together. These are workers of the oil sector in Guwahati. In fact, the strike is likely to have a paralyzing effect in Upper Assam, where workers belonging to 18 trade unions, belonging to the oil sector, the tea sector and the coal sector, they have joined the strike, this two-day strike. In Guwahati with Camperson Mukut Medhi, Orijit San.